tier FX. We are back in standard operating procedure after two days, two messy days in London with some friends and colleagues, sort of letting some steam off. Good times. Uh, for those of you that are listening, thank you. Uh, that was fun. And you're all safe and sound. Today we have Canadian CPI uh, at the back end of the day. This afternoon and this morning we have easy current account. Obviously the Trump news is in the media again. You know, he's screwing with Federal Reserve. So Euro blasted up uh, 80 pips or so which leaves us basically right in the middle of nowhere so there's not really much going on in the euro trade we've been working on core short euro yen all week we retain this bias uh, so we'll be selling high ones today between 20 and 50 um, we're looking for the possibility that there'll be sanctions on the car industry out either over the weekend or into early next week. So we think Euro Yen has the potential to go lower. Otherwise, Aussie has been on the back foot and it was kind of saved by these Trump comments, but I think this is going to dissipate. And based on the dollar China and based on what's going on globally, prices of copper and, and metals, we do like the Aussie fade. Should be some stops above 73.80, but we're really looking into this sort of 74.20 to 74.50-60 area to sell some Aussie. It's a bit far, but we're just keeping an eye on it. This is quite a bullish bar yesterday, and the market is short, so they're likely to get caught a bit here, but we do believe this trend will continue Aussie lower over time. Dollar Yen caught in the middle of of these comments. This is a very bearish candlestick though. Bearish engulfing after the 17 high. Prices below 07 need to be respected. Even though we're in a very bull trend in Dollar Yen, this looks like change in trend. We want to. We don't want to be short dollar yen here. We need confirmation. So through 112.05, or for me 112 through 112, the figure we will start building into some short dollar yen. And this kind of dovetails with our short euro yen uh, trade. So dollar yen, euro yen, left hand side. We will be selling high ones in euro yen. We will be waiting more cautious on the dollar yen side, but prices through 112 the figure, we will start uh, with our short journey. Equities playing around up here near the highs between 2800 and 2820. Come off a bit here. Uh, we're quietly bearish, but no trade. So we'll have to see. We were talking yesterday in London about 27.90 and how this might be a point, uh, sort of as sort of a pivot, but we're on a wait and see mission still. Bitcoin been been bullish the last couple of days, as everybody knows. Uh, any of your 6200s, you want to be selling up here between you know 72 and and 8200. With you retaining your core core long bias, even though we're in a little bull phase right now, we do think there's going to be one more washout down through 5,000. So let's just stay vigilant and be prepared for that, because uh, that will be, I think, the buying opportunity of the year. All right, I will leave you guys with that, and I will see you at the New York Open. We'll be talking a little bit more about Dollar Cad and what we're going to do with this CPI number. Have a good session. Talk to you later.